What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Stefan. This is the GTR that we're taking to SEMA. And now we officially have I can do math. Sixteen days. Are you stupid or something? 16 days until the GTR needs to be dropped off at SEMA. So current status of the GTR, we've got the coilovers on, wheels mounted, and we actually cleaned the whole thing. So we got everything wiped down. It felt, when I tell you it felt good, it felt good to get like down in here, take the bumper off. You ever clean behind your taillights, Casey? No. It's out of this world. <laughs> The feeling is out of this world. So we got it all cleaned, wiped down. We still have the trunk and shambles here. And that's because we still have to run the air lines. We're gonna put the air tank right here. The compressor is just chilling right there. We're gonna mount that behind this trunk liner. But what's nice, and again, why I went with the D2 suspension setup is because it's a coilover. So you don't need the air system. Like the car can drive and run just like it is. It doesn't need the air system. The air system is simply for the front lift. And then from there, obviously the car still looks like Frankenstein. So we've got all the new body parts over here. We've got the new rear bumper, 2017 plus. We've got the partial carbon fiber front bumper from Darwin Pro on this side. Fender's trunk hood. And then we gotta run over and drop it off at Clayton's so he can wrap it. You see, this is why I love Casey. He's used to working in like a legit shop and he's in the weenie shop over here. We got like basic tools. He bent that with the vice grips, a little resident MacGyver. I feel like such a little dweeb because I keep like coming up to Casey and I'm like, Casey, Casey, hey, 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 Dad, what should I be doing? It's the weenie shop, dude. It's the, I know, it's on the little weenie <laughs> you know, shop. It's like we're 12 years old, but with a GTR. It's like you're like, working. What work can we build? <laughs> <laughs> <Bolt Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're working out at Home Depot. So here's the tank. We're doing just like a rough mock up on the bracket to hold the tank inside the trunk. I'd like to do this a little bit more legit later on. So all the brackets so far, like on the compressor and everything, they're all just made out of aluminum. Casey, again, our resident MacGyver, he's just like, he's so fast at this. Eventually I wanna do something a little bit more legit, like where maybe we like weld something up. But just check out those bolts, bro. <laughs> those are Lamborghini bolts. Rosa, Campus, James, where you at? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I had some second thoughts about this wing. Like for a minute, I was like, is the stock wing better? Again, we're going for that like OEM plus look. I like the stock wing, but it's like everybody has, uh, obviously, obviously everybody has the stock wing. But I told myself, I was like, before you change your mind, cause I tend to do that a lot. Like if you guys don't know, I actually bought and I still have a wide body kit for this car from Carbon Air. It's just sitting in a crate. I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing with it. If I just end up like using it on this car as like a V2 build, or if I just sell it to somebody else. But anyway, it just goes to prove like the fact that I have a wide body kit for this car. I decided to change my mind. I went for again, the OEM plus look, and I feel like this fits perfectly. I'm so glad that I didn't like just hurry up and change my mind because now that I have it mounted on the car, this looks insanely clean, insanely good. And this is actually like an OEM wing, like from factory. This is the Nismo wing. It comes on the Nismo GTR and it just, it fits perfectly. And just like as a cherry on top, the carbon weave looks so rad. Have you guys ever seen that meme, you know, where it like shows like the dirty guy's hands and the clean girl's hands, like his hands look like this. Look at these gloves. His hands look like this, so that mine can look like this. So are you my are you my work husband? Can look like that. My work man. I recognized the problem. I replaced your gloves for you. Oh, no. Look at those guys. My God. Some freshies. Yes. So it took a little finagling, but Casey's just cruising. We got both fenders on. We're wiring up the lights right now for the fogs on the new bumper. Also, don't mind the fairy wings. The car does look good, but I reckon. 
It looks even better with these on top. You think we can mount these on the back somewhere? Put them on like the back of the wing. We're gonna gain like at least 20 <laughs> to the wheels. <laughs> My daughters would be so proud. <laughs> we've got a wiring set up back here. We're gonna get that all buttoned up once we get the front end on. Uh, we've got the tank right back here. This thing is sweet. Again, it's made out of aluminum. This is kind of just like our rough draft so that we can mock up like a real steel mount for it. But it's roughly going to sit like that. I think it's kind of dope. It just kind of floats there. We're gonna try and push it a little bit more back into this corner and then again, reinforce it with steel so it's nice and solid. But the last thing we gotta figure out is the fitment on the front. These fenders are a little bit wider than what I was anticipating. Not by much, like maybe just like three to five millimeters wider than factory. But I feel like they match the rears a lot better if you kind of look at the rear end of the car. It matches a little bit better than the factory ones do. And then the front bumper here, we got the side marker lights installed. We got our fog lights set up and that just looks so clean. Oh! Are you kidding me right now? What? This looks sick, look no. at it. <laughs> what, is it not fitting? Looks fantastic. Looks great! Okay, so we're dialing in the fitment here on the front bumper and the fender. This side, Okay, not great. We've got a slight gap right here that we're gonna try and fix in a little bit. But on this side, absolute perfection. The line meets up just right, fits nice and snug around the headlight, which means it's now officially time for the hood to go on. You ready for this? It's gonna like- I forgot. I, I did almost forget. We started carrying over, he's like, don't you wanna film this? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm at YouTube jail. <laughs> Dog, look at this thing. Casey, you're an animal. You're just as much of an animal mm -hmm. as you mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a poodle, I'm a wolf. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, both dogs. Yeah. Thank you, appreciate the dog reference, but yeah, you're a wolf, I'm a, I'm a poodle. Hey, nothing wrong with the poodle. Nothing wrong, everybody loves I poodles. Poodle. Everybody loves I, it. I, it's I, a house, it's a house dog. I like four. But you need to be just let out into the wild to just wreak havoc and build cars. And in for a brief appearance on his third Otter Pop Bro, of the why night. Are you on blast right now. Okay? Let's hear. You've had blue. You, what? Two blue and one. No, get it right. I had a blue. I had an orange. And I have a pink. A salmon. It's a salmon. <laughs> He's been having a rough time lately. And speaking of a hard time, it's been a, a little, just a little bit of a hard time getting to this point, but we did it. We're getting so close to the finish line, I can, uh, I can taste it. Then I start to taste them. I say, and then I start to smell them. So it's like a smell that tastes like, I was like, so I knew something was wrong. I knew something special about it. But the car looks so insanely good. It's hard to say that it wasn't worth it. This is legit. This is my dream build GTR. I, I can't believe that it's like right here in front of my eyes. But we've gotta hurry and get this old gal off to Nick at City of Salt so he can do a quick pass cut and buff on it just to make sure the paint is perfect. He wanted to wait until all the panels were like mounted on the car. It's a little bit easier to cut and buff that way. And then it's straight off to my boy Clayton at Summit Auto Lab so that he can get cracking on the KPMF color that we have right there in that box. I'm so stoked to show you guys. <laughs> Quick on my silence. As always, much appreciated. There's a link to Luke's channel below. There's a link to James's Tinder below. Uh, yeah, he's looking fresh. He's looking fresh. Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow. She's a beaut, Clark. Now, if my calculations are correct. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, divided by pi, square root of three. Yep, that ain't going nowhere. I'm not gonna lie, a part of me wants to leave it like this. Look at how dope that is. Like with the carbon wing, the trunk on, no tail lights, with just the, like the whole, just raw exhaust sticking out. It's so sick. And one final check over before we get on our merry way. Everything seems snug, everything seems as it should be, but man, what? A duo. This is 0 60 on a Raptor towing a GTR. Ready to go. It's not fast. <laughs> you know, all in all though, for the Raptor being like a straight up Baja truck, it tows pretty dang good. How's that? Now again, you'd never guess it. You 
Nick is like one of the healthiest people. No soda, well soda, no sugar, what else? no caffeine. No sugar, no caffeine. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and back the GTR in here. They're just gonna do it right here. We're gonna leave it on the trailer. Nick asked me, hey, how are your backing up skills? I said, average at best. <laughs> Guys, this is Kevin. Kevin is the best shop dog ever. Kevin, thank you for your service. Gary, thank you for your service. We're getting ready to load up. Car looks amazing. It looks so good. Uh, we've got the bumpers here in the bed, and of course, it's raining already. Freaking smells like wet Cheetos out here. It would be my luck the day that I have to drive all the way out to Park City. It's like an hour away from here. It's raining. You know, these days, it seems like she spends a little more time on the trailer than she does on the actual road. I know I've already said this, but dang, what a duo. This thing looks so good right behind the Raptor. But on that note, welcome to Summit Auto Lab. Look at this thing. Clayton is absolutely crushing life. I don't even know what I'm doing wasting my time with this truck. Oh no, she's kind of squatted. The Raptor is obviously not built for towing. It can tow, hence the GTR. We got a little bit of a squat here in the rear from the weight of the GTR, but it is no match for Clayton's OBS Ford pickup. This thing is off the chain. Sorry. My guy, what's up, to, dude? I had to get dinner, sorry. Everybody knows the best cars are the ones you have to push. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this in black and white. I'm not ready to reveal the color quite yet, but it looks so, so good. Also, Clayton, how crazy is it that like, all these years later, I mean, granted, we skipped a year at SEMA. We did skip a year. That was such a cool memory. That's like I one of my favorite memories of all to time. to hang this year's photo right there. Right? Put it right next to it. So it's officially crunch time. We met our deadline. It's officially Monday the 18th, 6.23 p.m. Quite a bit later than I thought. Clayton probably hates me because I was like, I spent pretty much all day at Nick's shop getting all the paint like just absolutely perfected so we could lay the vinyl on top. Yeah, but Clayton's gonna go ahead and get it all washed up so we can get cracking because we have no time to waste. Now it's, it's wild. Shit a trip. Life is litty. The gift to me. I don't really like nothing. Trip black fish, hit the splash button. Landlock too bad for him. And he lied with a talk, but it's mad rubbish. It don't mean nothing. From the soil, trying to make it to the top floor. But the penthouse pin gains up the mad guts, bros. No sleeping, been a task rabbit, been a lab at it. The chief of the tribe I put on for my village. Used to be local, I'm taking it. Why do phone cannons look so cool? I need one. Also, if you live under a rock and you're not already following Clayton and Faith, there's a link below. Summer Auto Lab. Believe me when I say. I'm exhausted. Guys, mega shout out to all the homies for coming out and helping me with the GTR this whole past week. I can't believe that we made the deadline. We got it dropped off at Clayton Shop. Shout out to Clayton, Luke, James, Casey, everybody else that's helped along the way. Also, I absolutely cannot wait to show you guys the wrap color that we picked out from KPMF for the GTR. It's so insanely sick. As usual, if you made it this far in the video, you're a real one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell. And on that note, see you in the next video.